Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about haplotype analysis. Haplotype analysis is a powerful tool in genetics that involves studying the specific combination of alleles at adjacent locations on a chromosome. These combinations are inherited together and the term haplotype refers to set of uh, linked genetic markers that are often passed down as a group. The analysis of haplotype uh, has significant applications in fields such as human genetics, evolutionary biology and medical research, particularly in understanding complex diseases, population genetics and drug response. This video provides an overview of haplotype analysis, its methods, applications and importance in genetic research. To understand haplotype analysis, it is essential to first define what a haplotype is. A haplotype consists of a group of genes or genetic variations, usually single nucleotide polymorphisms, that are located closely together on a chromosome and tend to be inherited as a block. These genetic variations are often associated with particular traits or diseases. As they are inherited together, haplotypes can provide insights into both genetic history and susceptibility to certain conditions. For example, in humans, each individual inherits two copies of every chromosome, one from each parent. The specific combinations of alleles or variants inherited at several loci can define a person's haplotype. For example, here there is a uh, DNA sequence from uh, reference genome. You can see that at three locations we have uh, single nucleotide uh, changes. Like instead of A there is G, instead of T there is A and instead of T there is A here. So, these changes should be present in more than 1% population to, to be called it as uh, like single nucleotide polymorphism. So, these three SNPs together are inherited uh, in, the, in these individuals, individual 1, 2, 3, 4. In individual 1 and 4, you can see that ATT haplotype is there. In individual 2, 3, GAA haplotype is there. So, ATT is like normal uh, reference, whereas in individual 2 and 3, there is variation at this position. Instead of A, this, uh, these patients, two, individual 2 and individual 3, they have G. Instead of T, they have A nucleotide. Instead of T, again, they have A nucleotide. So, individual 2 and individual 3 is said to have three single nucleotide polymorphisms, which are inherited together as a single block. So, this can be termed as haplotype in individual 2 and individual 3. Whereas individual 1 and individual 4, they have normal DNA sequence. At position A, they have position A only. Okay. So there are several approaches to haplotype analysis, ranging from experimental techniques to computational methods. First one is genotyping and sequencing. Traditional methods of haplotype analysis involve genotyping or sequencing a series of genetic markers. With high throughput uh, sequencing technology, researchers can obtain precise information about the genetic makeup of individuals and can construct haplotypes by identifying which alleles are present at specific loci. In some cases, uh, genotype data from large cohorts can be used to infer haplotypes without the need to sequence the entire genome. Coming to statistical uh, inference, in many cases, haplotypes are inferred statistically rather than directly measuring it. When genotyping data for a large number of individuals are available, computational algorithms such as phase, haploview, and uh, Beagle, all these all can be used to infer the most likely haplotypes. These tools rely on statistical methods to predict which alleles are likely to be, likely to be inherited together based on the patterns observed in the population. Third one is uh, uh, linkage disequilibrium mapping. Linkage disequilibrium uh, refers to the non-random association of alleles at different loci. 
So haplotype analysis often involves examining uh, linkage disequilibrium patterns to identify regions of the genome that are associated with diseases or traits. Strength of linkage disequilibrium between uh, single nucleotide polymorphisms can provide insights into the evolutionary history of a population or the genetic architecture of a complex disease. Coming to the applications of haplotype analysis, uh, one of the primary use of haplotype uh, analysis is in the identification of genetic variants associated with complex diseases. Many diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease and certain cancers are influenced by multiple genes that interact in complex ways. Haplotype analysis allows researchers to examine the combination of genetic variants across several loci to better understand disease risk. For example, identifying specific haplotypes linked to disease susceptibility can help pinpoint genetic regions that may harbor disease-causing mutations. Haplotype analysis plays an important role in pharmacogenomics, which studies how genetic variation influences an individual's response to drugs. Certain haplotypes are associated with variations in drug metabolism, effectiveness, and side effects. For instance, genetic variations in the gene encoding for cytochrome P450 enzymes, which are involved in drug metabolism, can affect how patients respond to medications. By analyzing haplotypes, one can predict the best treatment option uh, for individual based on the genetic makeup. Haplotype uh, analysis is also crucial for studying population genetics and evolutionary biology. Haplotype, uh, haplotypes across different populations, researchers can trace the historical movement and mixing of human populations. The diversity of haplotypes within a population can provide insight into its genetic history, the impact of migration, and the forces of natural selection. Furthermore, by examining haplotype patterns across different species, one can infer the revolutionary relationship between species. It has a role uh, in agriculture and animal breeding also. Lastly, uh, personalized medicine aims to tailor medical treatment to the individual characteristics of each patient, including their genetic makeup. So, haplotype analysis can help identify genetic variants associated with an individual's risk for particular disease. Enabling healthcare providers to offer more targeted prevention or treatment strategies. It can also aid in predicting drug responses and minimizing adverse reactions. Despite its many advantages, haplotype analysis comes with several challenges. One of the primary obstacles is the difficulty in accurately determining haplotypes in regions of the genome that exhibit high levels of genetic variation or recombination. Additionally, the vast amount of data generated in modern genomic studies can pose logistical and analytical challenges, especially in terms of computational power and statistical modeling. Moreover, the complex relationship between genotype and phenotype complicates the interpretation of haplotype data. While haplotypes can uh, provide important clues, clues to genetic predisposition, the environment and gene-environment interactions also play a significant role in the manifestation of many diseases. Thus, haplotype analysis must be interpreted within the broader context of genetic and environmental factors. So, to conclude, Haplotype analysis is a cornerstone of modern genetic research, offering valuable insights into the structure and function of the genome. Its applications span a wide range of fields from understanding the genetic basis of complex diseases to advancing personalized medicine. While challenges remain in accurately capturing and interpreting haplotype data, advancements in genomic technologies and statistical methods continue to improve our ability to harness the power of haplotype analysis. As our understanding of human genome deepens, haplotype analysis will undoubtedly remain a critical tool in both basic and applied genetic research. Thank you.